Today I introduce you to the fourth generation iPod Classic. Ha! Funny how it says the format is Windows. 2004 this boy was made. He's 18 years old. iPods. Some are small, like this third generation Nano. Look at how small and thin this boy is. It looks so tiny in my hand. At least these nanos are all right, unlike the second and fifth generation ones. Some have touch screens, like this fourth generation iPod Touch. It has 32 gigabytes too. It also turned on pretty much the first time I bought it. Ugh, which one of my devices isn't passcode locked? Sadly, it's got the usual iPod scratches on the back. But we're not talking about those boys today. Today I introduce you to, the 4th generation iPod Classic. It's the HP version, which I guess makes it a little more rare. But yeah, I finally got an actual iPod Classic. It has everything you would want, the hard drive, a click wheel, and thickness. I probably should charge this boy, because he's had a long journey. This calls for the 30 pin cable and the old iron ton. Because we haven't seen him in a while. I hope this boy doesn't need warm power to turn on. Ooh, it turned on almost immediately. This boy might hold a charge. What is his battery at when I unplug him? Wow, almost completely full. Oh, what am I thinking? I need to unlock it first. Now I can scroll. Click wheel works pretty good. Ooh, games. Let's play brick. Oh yeah, this is just like Atari Breakout. Except, you know, with a click wheel. Is there any music on this boy? Oh, wow, tons of music. This thing is pretty full of music. Also nice to know that the hard drive is still working. By Iron Pun, you served your purpose. Probably should hook this boy up to the computer to reset him. Let's plug this boy in. Now, let's see what the computer thinks of it. There's the iPod. Yeah, no thanks Windows, I'll continue without fixing. I probably won't be able to view the music on this boy, because I'm on a Windows PC. Yeah, I can't view the music. Well, let's see what iTunes thinks of this boy. Come on, iPod. Just pop up. What iTunes? You can't do your own job? Whatever, fine iTunes. Okay, it still decides to bring me to the restore screen. Restore my iPod. Ha ha, the only thing it mentions for the update is bug fixes. Agree. This iPod is a speedy boy. Go iPod, go! Look at how fast it's going. 
Apparently, it wants me to connect it to wall power. Well, I'll be back after some wall power. Welcome to your totally new iPod. Yes, I want to sync. Ha! Funny how it says the format is Windows. Before we do anything, we need to rename this boy. Classic. Fourth. Generation. There we go. Now we can sync music to this boy. I'll be back after syncing. Now we just need to set it up and then see if the music works. Select English. And then turn the backlight on, because I can't see anything. Set the backlight timer to the longest time. Probably should check if my music got on here. Yes it did. All 585 songs. Probably should check if this thing works. And why don't we use the junk original Apple earbuds? Cause they totally don't sound bad and make music unbearable to listen to. And they're tangled. Great. Come on. Get untangled. There we go. Finally. Let's plug this crap into the iPod. It always looks so funny to see the headphones sticking out of the middle. Well, let's attempt to get these in my ears. Okay, it works. It sounds horrible, but that's thanks to the Apple junk phones. So yeah, this boy works pretty well. 2004 this boy was made, he's 18 years old. And he still looks pretty decent. This thickness is also acceptable. I don't know why, but I love the hard drives in these boys. Ha, ha, I also like the contradicting logos on the back. So yeah, these iPod classics are pretty cool. Anyways, that's it for today's video. Remember that iPod classics are cool. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.